as soon as you get to retirement age, uh, you are treated discourteously, you are ignored, and I think it's because of um, uh, the biasness of society. They've known since the 1950s, when the present older people were born, that there was going to be a problem when we all retired. Nobody complained when we were all working and putting loads of taxes into the system. But now we're all retiring, we are suddenly perceived in some quarters as a burden on society. The, everyone thinks that we've got resources at our age. And actually, I have to say, I am fortunate in that when my mum died, we paid off our mortgage. Having housing security is a huge, huge relief of emotion. There's one less thing that you don't have to find every month. Not all old people have got money. They've not all got, got, got money. Um, they've paid the taxes, they've paid their insurances, but if some old people have not been in pension schemes, then, you know, they're just struggling on, on the pension. I have to say, especially in this country, out of all the countries in Western Europe, I think you've got the lowest chance of ageing well. If you talk to somebody of, in their 80s or 90s and you discover that actually a lot of them have lived long, fascinating lives, they've done loads and loads of stuff, achieved amazing things in their life, and yet by the time they get to that age, they're just seen as this sort of amorphous mass of old people that are some kind of problem to society because um, they're a drain on uh, the national resources. So they're not seen as individuals. There's a lot of improvement needed for older people. If we treat older people properly, younger people will also get treated properly and various diverse communities will also get equally treated properly. So I think it is important that we as society change. It's time that we're not working in silos. It's time that housing is not working on its own or health or social care. I am not the politician, so I don't know whether I am. I hope that there is a change. I hope that they, they listen to what people said. It's not just about putting a bit of money in here or a bit of an initiative in there, but seeing the big picture. And the big picture should be people have an equal right to a decent life, and it doesn't matter who. For many people today, living longer is not just a hope, but an expectation. Many more of us are living into our 70s, 80s, 90s and beyond but experiences of ageing are becoming more unequal. While the state of ageing suggests that for many people in England, ageing could get worse, this is not inevitable. This is why it's crucial that we act now to plan for our ageing population and ensure that the needs of older people are represented in policy making.